Okay, so in this first video, I'm going to show you how to lay out a hip rafter on a 2x6. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure down 1 and 1 16th of an inch. Okay, then I'm going to put my rafter um, on whatever slope I've chosen or um, is given for your specific project. So I'm going to say this one's going to be an 8. So this, since this is a hip rafter, I'm going to go 8 on the hip valley. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on my 1 and a 16th mark, and I'm going to draw a line. Then I'm going to take my speed square, and I'm going to draw two marks, one on each side of my line, 3 quarters of an inch away from the line. Then take your speed square and line it up on an, your eight and through your mark and then do both of them so that you have three parallel lines. Okay. Now, when you cut this, using our standard circular saw, not a worm drive or something. You're going to set your blade on 45 degrees and you're going to cut going up this way on this side of the line. All right. And then once you've got that cut on your 45, then you're going to come around to the top of the rafter and you're going to go down this line with the saw blade on this side of the line. Now, when you get done, you would want to see about, if you did it correctly, you'd see about half of this line left, okay? So when you got done, at the top of this board, you would see, let's see, I would need a line going this way, and I would need to go this way. So all of this would be cut away. You would leave you with a point that goes right into the corner. Okay. Now to get your rafter length, before you cut it, you measure from the top of the rafter down. This is the top of the rafter, the part that will go up towards the sky. And let's say that this rafter is going to be 42 inches. So I would come back down here, I would put this on my hip 8 on that mark. Now, to get this distance from my bird's mouth, I have to take it from the common rafter that I would have cut previously. So let's say that this right here is my common rafter that I cut previously. And I'm going to measure from the top down a distance. That distance is called drop. So I'm going to measure from the top down and then say it's four and an eighth. So this would make it the same height as my common rafter. And mark for my bird's mouth. Okay, so I measure on a hip, I'm going to measure from the top down, then I would cut this piece out. Again, I would want to leave half of my lines when I did that, so that, now, do I cut past it or do I leave it short and cut? It all depends. Some people say, ah, you, you know, it's not that bad because you only have a rafter tail on here and there's not a whole lot of weight and that isn't going to make a big difference. Other people, you know, they like to have them nice and neat and stuff. So it's up to you whether you want to cut that off or not um, or cut past to make this drop out. Okay, so that's basically it. Now, if you cut a tail on here now, you would just measure down whatever length you wanted for your tail and mark it and cut it. Um, I prefer to leave the tail on and then do them all once they are put up onto the roof. Okay, so that is how to lay out a hip rafter on a two by six.